When Carol goes to work in an aged care home secure dementia ward, there's a persistent problem. But at least once or twice a week, my shift is understaffed. Carol, who's asked that we protect her identity, has made an anonymous report through a website called Aged Care Watch. It included the details of her complaint, residents going half a day without continence pads being changed. That could be left in a wet pad or whatnot, and it's, and it's not fair for them. Since the United Workers Union launched the website in July, it's posted nearly 2,000 complaints. And aged care workers say to us, finally we've got a voice. Anyone can visit the site, click on any area in Australia, and see the details of a complaint, including the name of the aged care facility. You can go to the area in which you live and you can click on it and you can perhaps find the home that you're considering for your relative and you can see what's going on there. In a statement, the federal government said anyone concerned should raise these issues directly with the provider or alternatively with the government's Age Care Quality and Safety Commission. And Peakbody Leading Age Services Australia said complaints were often unsubstantiated and published without a right of response. But aged care workers like Emma Bowers say the site is important. She used it to warn about the risk of understaffing after she was assaulted by a male resident on a high care dementia ward. He just attacked me. There was blood everywhere and I thought he was bleeding until the blood's running down my face. While she doesn't have an issue with her workplace, she hasn't been able to return since the attack two months ago. My cut is healed but within me it's not feeling very well at all. In age care, she says every understaffed shift can have a cost. Norman Hermont, ABC News.